We're recording. Maria Luisa, say hello. <laughs> this looks so beautiful. Please tell me about your Thanksgiving offering um, here at Santa, Clina, Santa Catalina Church. And your ingredients are? Your My point to them too. Tropical two. fruit salad. Uh huh. Yes. Uh huh. Um, cranberries. Uh, uh -huh. Marshmallows. Uh huh. Coconut. Pink. Pink. Uh, uh, color marshmallows. Uh, yeah. Uh, different colors. Uh huh. Pineapple. Uh huh. Mandarins. Uh, walnuts, I said walnuts, mm -hmm. sour cream, and a little bit of uh, cool whip. Is that so? It looks wonderful. Did you put a little sugar in it too? No, actually no, because the coconut is the one that really gives the sweetness. Oh, it's wonderful. And look mm -hmm. at the way you displayed it too. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, the stars are gorgeous. Bronze in the platter too. I appreciate things like this. This is a beautiful offering. Thank, Thank you. you. Happy Thanksgiving! Oh, happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> It's nice meeting you too. I love like she does this too. She goes all out for everything too. So I, know, I always, I, I always appreciate yeah, things like this. You bought this too? Gorgeous! Yes. I took a picture of it. Just wonderful. Very inspirational. <laughs> So what have you got planned for the whole Advent season? What is your special event that you are planning? We have, less, we have less, well, we have Las Posadas on the 15th. Uh-huh. We have a family fun night on the Saturday the 14th. We have lessons in carols on Friday the 13th. What does that mean? Lessons in carols is a, um, it's a very old tradition. And basically, it's nine lessons or scripture readings. <gasps> and it goes through the story oh my of gosh. Christ. Have we done this? this not is, here. <gasps> this, is, this is wonderful. And in between each of the readings, there's one or two carols. Some of them will be congregational. Some of them will be choir. Or Who's cancer. teaching it? Um, well, we're working, Victoria and I are working together. So she has the choir coming to sing. Uh -huh. And then I have lectors who will get up and will read. The, le the read the readings. Uh -huh. So it's really a congregational event. It's really meant to bring fellowship. Originally, when it was first created back in Canterbury, it was used to keep the men out of the bars on Christmas Eve. Oh my God, you're too funny. So, this is too funny. Uh, Can I, you really know, a I, have, I, have a, I have a little blog. Do you mind if I put this on? No, I don't. Oh, good. I love it. Okay, so let's let's talk. The, uh, okay, tell me. Let's we are gonna let's give the date. It's the twenty eighth. November Today? Th yes. Yes, today is November 28th. Okay, it's at Church, Church, and Stacy and I have been together since last Advent mm -hmm. when you prepared the wonderful ceremonies, the, the lighting ceremonies with the women. That was just gorgeous. So I've come to you because I know that you always put your special touch on this parish. So please tell us what are the events um, through Advent. Well, the new event we're adding this year is Lessons and Carols. And Lessons and Carols is a very old tradition. So uh, Victoria and the choir, myself, We've been working together, but it's a very old tradition in the church. It was created by a bishop in Canterbury, and originally it was used um, to keep the men out of the bars on Christmas Eve. And what uh, during what time is this? What? It's done. It used to be due traditionally on Christmas Eve. Uh huh. And uh, excuse me, the bishop of Canterbury during what period of time? Uh, the early, the early uh, 1700s, I believe. 1729, 1717. Go girl! So how did you come of? Uh, well, no, it's no, a tradition no. we used to use in a parish I was in in New Jersey. We mm -hmm. used to do it every year. Soon after it was introduced, it very quickly became adopted by many churches and has been adapted in many ways. Different music has been used, but the, n the same nine traditional readings have been used. It starts in the book of Genesis and goes all the way through, and it really just tells about the story of Christ and the birth of Christ. So it's traditionally used in Advent today. Mm -hmm. So we use it as a wonderful way to kind of prepare us through our journey of Advent. And what it is, is it's nine scripture readings, and in between each of the scripture readings, there'll be a carol or two. Some of them will be congregational, some of them will be with the choir. Mm -hmm. Is or, it going to be the full choir, uh, complete with um, uh, uh, instruments too? Um, I do think she is going to have um, her trumpet and her I flute love player the here, trumpet. yes. <laughs> so, yeah. I love the pianist too, but I, I love do. the trumpet. I think she's just planning to have them all here. Mm -hmm. and instead of doing their their Christmas concert, this is what we're going to use in place Is that so? Is that yeah. so? That's wonderful. Will it be here in the, in the church in the or church the community room? It's 7 o'clock on the 13th. Okay. And then afterwards is we'll have fellowship. Is 13 Sunday or, or is it Saturday? It's a Friday. Oh, it's a Friday. It's a Friday. What time again? 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. O'clock. Okay. And then the other thing we're going to do this year, which will be very interesting, with our Advent wreath. Our Advent mm -hmm. wreath is going to be moved to the front of our altar. It's going to be larger this year. But we are going to wreath in our baptismal font and the candle every week. So let me let me quickly turn this in the front. As yeah, we, so 
There's as, a baptismal font. I'm so we'll going to zoom in. As you can see, the Holy Mother, and there is a rough stone fountain. That's where we take our blessings, and that's where it's going to be. Oh, wonderful idea. And we will move the candle every week from there into our Advent wreath in front of the altar and be lit. Okay, and, and is this done in a processional thing it'll or be before? Done, it'll be done as part of the entrance procession. Oh, lovely. So every is that your idea, we'll Susie? A candle. It is a new idea. It was actually given um, <sighs> by a sister um, who is in the parish working with us, and she's like, I have a wonderful idea, so we kind of worked with it. Is she a sister it. of Immaculate Heart, the one in Oro Valley? Or? Um, no, I don't know what, I haven't... what order they're from. It's Sister Jean Kerrigan. And um, she, she's, do you know Sister Jean Mariani? No, I don't. She's one of her sisters. And I, I'm not, is it the Sacred Heart? I'm not sure. Is it, is, is this what they do? Oh, no, they just happen to be, well, Sister Jean Mariani works in the parish. The sh Sister Jean Kerrigan just happens to come to church here. Oh, I know, but this is her idea. This to, was her idea. I love well, it. it was, creativity it and inspiration. Yeah, and we kind of turned it into yes. something else. So Beautiful. Here, we have some new things kind of happening as Advent goes this year. We're going to kind of grow. We're going to start decorating outside the church the second week of Advent, move into the narthex. And is that going to be a church. community thing, or is it just going to be uh, the good ladies, uh, the handmaidens nope. of the church? <laughs> well, they'll be by the, by the ladies of the church. Yeah, so, okay, yeah that sounds yeah. wonderful. So it should be good. Yeah, Stacy, uh, thank you so much for all that you do for us. You are inspired. Please. You've got all those things in I your hands. I thought, I Can I, pardon me? I wanted to make sure you got one of the Thanksgiving. In fact, I was going to ask somebody to read this so that I can put it on my blog so we can read along with it. How do you feel about that, Phoebe? I don't know about that. Hey, look at your accent. Where are you from? Pennsylvania. Oh, but it's not, oh, well, it, yes. Well, uh, I need to put these things Yes, down. of course, of course. <laughs> can I help you with that? No. Oh, okay. that you wanted me to visit last Advent, not just me, last, uh, during Lent, where you told me he's a wonderful guy. He said he's a character. He's one of the oldest priests here in the parish. Remember, I had gone to 29 different churches uh, during Lent, and you told me to go and visit a good priest that... Uh, From here. Somewhere in the parish. It's like it's not in the parish, but somewhere in the diocese. Oh, in the diocese. Yeah. God. Yeah. He's an older gentleman, you said. Yeah. He's been around forever. I think he, he, you told me he quit. The, no, he didn't. They, they made him retire, but then he came back or he refused to retire or something. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't oh. You never met him, huh? No, I did. And like I said, this is this is the start of my going to different churches all over the diocese until Christmas. You know, we are a pilgrim people. Yeah. That's wonderful. Thank you. But I remember you had suggested. Well, it's okay. It's okay. Well, I will give. Who do, who do you want me to give greetings to? How that's easier. Well. You're going to go from parish to parish. I um I I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to try my hardest to go every day to church till Christmas, and I will use a different church unless I get up too late. Well, well <laughs> if I get up too late, I just go to the cathedral. Go, you're going to go to what St. Mark's and St. Elizabeth and Seton and right. St. Odilia's. Yes, yes, yes. All you the know, local ones always go um, to them anyway. So the, the priests and deacons you meet there. There's my card. Say uh -huh. hello to him from Deacon Bill. <laughs> so wonderful. Okay. Yes, I shall. God so, bless you. God bless you. I would, um, what, can I ask you a favor, please? Can you read the Thanksgiving prayer onto my little camera? Sure. Oh, good, 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 good. 
Who's the, the um Let's get you here like this. Oh.